Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. Hello there, future Einsteins and Edisons. Today we're going on a journey, not to Disneyland, but to the magical land of knowledge. Imagine you're all set for a road trip to Disneyland. Pathway of pumpkins, route of rides, freeway of fun. You got it all planned out, right? But what if the internet was out and your GPS didn't work? What do you think might happen? A, you stay home and cry, or B, you know how to read a map and get to Disneyland anyway. Just like a road trip, scientists follow a path. Their GPS? It's called the scientific method, and it's their guide to discovering the mysteries of the universe, the secrets of nature, and the answers to those why and how questions. It's their path to invention and innovation, which we all know are pretty important in America. Hard work, equality of opportunity, and ingenuity are keys in applying the scientific method. Now, think about the incandescent light bulb. No, not the LED ones. I'm talking about those classy old school bulbs with a glowing filament. Fun fact, it was a long journey filled with trials, errors, and a ton of patience before we got to the Christmas tree illuminating nighttime reading, enabling light bulb we have today. So. Put on your inventor's hat, strap in, and let's dive into the scientific method. Here's a question for you. LED bulbs were invented in one go with no errors. Is it A, true, or B, false? So you're thinking of the second option B, false, right? Yes, it's false, well done. The scientific method has four main steps. Observation, hypothesis, experiment, and conclusion. Remember, it's like a journey. We start by observing something, like why are bicycle tires always flat? Based on these observations, we make an educated guess or hypothesis. Then we test this hypothesis through experiments. It's like the fun part of a road trip, trying new routes and shortcuts. You might make mistakes, but it's all part of the journey. Last but not least, we conclude. We check if we were right or not. Ring any school bells? Yes, this ties directly to the common core curriculum. Entering the experimental phase, there's a challenge. Sprinkle some salt over a bowl of water and freeze it. Does it melt? What happens if you add more salt? Your results will then lead you to a conclusion. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answer. It's about how you get there, your method. Question time, folks. Choose the most appropriate answer. A. Salt makes marvelous ice cream. B. Salt on ice performs a Harry Potter spell and turns ice into a frog. C. Salt lowers the freezing point of water, helping it melt. If you're thinking about the option C, salt lowers the freezing point of helping it melt, then you're right. Very well done. Now, Think of it as a journey of hard work, patience, and innovation. Thomas Edison, one of the inventors of the incandescent light bulb, was no stranger to failure. Yet, his relentless spirit and perseverance led him to his groundbreaking invention. He famously said, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. When asked about his numerous failed attempts at creating a working light bulb, that's the spirit. All right, future scientists, it's time to step into your lab coats, put on those safety goggles, and let your curiosity lead you on your path of discovery. Stay observant, hypothesize boldly, experiment passionately, and conclude wisely. Journey onward in this ever-intriguing quest for knowledge. To wrap up our magical journey today, imagine a cat scientist. It would have the perfect theory because it would have nine lives to test it out. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet. Keep learning, keep exploring, and remember, a curious mind is a brilliant mind. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.